that you would be completely unaware of. And we all know that beauty does sometimes come at a price, but some of the latest trends can be a little more costly than others, especially when it comes to our eyes. In fact, they can be dangerous. And here to tell us about some of uh, the dangerous trends in eyes is optometrist, because she would know all about that. This is Dr. Kimberly Friedman. Please welcome <laughs> use multiple in one day. All the ladies out there use skin products, hair care products, but you don't really think about your eyes as much as the other parts of your body, right? Right, right. Well, sometimes we can neglect our eyes by not using the creams and UV protection when we're outdoors, but also a lot of the problems actually come in when we're using products and chemicals in and around our eyes that really have no business being there. Well, one of them is uh, a, a, a trend right now that Lady Gaga made kind of popular. The circle lenses that you can pop in and it makes your, uh, the, the color part of your eye, the iris, look larger? Exactly. A circle lens is essentially a contact lens where they've painted a large dark circle on the edge of the lens so that when you insert it, it covers part of the white of your eye and makes the colored part of the eye look larger. The dangerous part about this is that people are, are sourcing these not from doctors but oftentimes on the internet, right? It, exactly. Contact lenses, even these cosmetically tinted ones like this, are medical devices for a reason. And it's actually illegal to obtain these contact lenses without a prescription. It's illegal. It is. It I, is. I, honestly, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a member uh, of our audience today who's wearing them. And, uh, her name's Holly, and Holly says she, you wear these often, right? Yeah, you, I wear them pretty much every day right now. Um, it wasn't always like that, but it kind of evolved into that type of thing. I, I don't know. I just like the way they look. It's an easy way to change your eye look um, and kind of more cost effective than buying a whole set of contacts. You can buy them like one set and it's just kind of like doing a different makeup look. So it is, if it's something that a woman wants to wear as a, as a conscious you know, fashion choice, mm -hmm. is it safe if you go to your doctor? Well, if you obtain the prescription from a doctor, they will be a, a making sure that the oxygen transmission is appropriate, gotcha. that the diameter and curvature is appropriate. The problem really comes in when people are obtaining them from outside sources and then they're not getting proper instructions on how to care for them, how to insert them and remove them, and often it may not fit the eye appropriately, leading to some complications like, for example, corneal abrasions. And corneal abrasions, although they don't lead to permanent vision Ooh, loss, wow. they're extremely painful. That's an ugly couple of days you're going to have if you have something like that occur. And with repeated use, sometimes we can actually get into what's called a corneal ulcer. Corneal ulcers are much more dangerous My gosh. in that they lead to scarring, and that can lead to permanent vision loss, even blindness. So you have to take this seriously. Go get them from a doctor. Absolutely. Don't be downloading them on the internet. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> um, up next, this is one I, you know, uh, I've, I've done from time to time. Every time I go on vacation, I go to, uh, and it's terrible. You should never do this, ever. <laughs> I get yelled at by my dermatologist all the time. I, I admit it, I've been into those tanning booths, but it's a very big risk for your eyes, for all of your skin, right? but for your eyes, especially if you don't wear the goggles, that's right? That's it. Yeah, that's it. In our, in our quest for that golden glow, sometimes we'll go into these tanning booths and we won't wear the goggles because, admit it, we don't want those raccoon eyes. We don't want to put those on. Right. But in just closing the eyelids when you're in the tanning booth, the actual UV radiation can penetrate through the eyelids. The eyelids are so thin that the UV gets through. That's so you're why not we need getting any protection by just keeping your eyes closed. Correct. That's Correct. Silly. We need the goggles in order to protect the eyes. If we don't use the goggles, or if we go repeatedly and the ultraviolet radiation begins to penetrate, we can get a whole host of problems with the eyes. Anything from cataracts, macular degeneration, which is a breakdown of the retina that can lead to blindness as well. Uh, we can end up with skin cancers in and around the eyes, even one called an iris melanoma that I believe we have a picture of, which shows a uh, UV oh damage God. to the iris. That's that big, large brown spot there. So all kinds of damage from UV exposure to the eye over time. You have to take that very seriously. Absolutely. And it has nothing to do with frequency, right? I mean, even if you're only going in there once in a while, you have to you could end up caution. having like a really bad abrasion or keratitis just from one exposure. So, you know, spray tans are pretty good. Spray tans are They're phenomenal. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I just started trying those and I'm like, I love this. Uh, up next is another one I'm guilty of too. Darn it. <laughs> False eyelashes. I have to say, they're super fun. They are. <laughs> They're fun. They're just 
fun. And we have an audience member that agrees with me. You got yes. your falsies on? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, don't tell me there's some serious danger in just using little little strip lashes with a touch of like roll-off glue, is right. there? No. False eyelashes, the key is moderation. If yeah. we're using an appropriate product, something that's obtained from a reliable source, a pharmacy, a better department store, mm -hmm. it's going to have the appropriate glue with it that's safe for application and removal. However, sometimes we actually see people that will use one of those really um, super tight adhesive glues in order to make it hold a little bit longer. And then when you remove the eyelashes, you're removing maybe part of the skin as well and we can end up with some pretty ugly complications there. The other complication that we'll see is if someone's using them repeatedly, if it's an everyday thing, the constant pulling of the lashes off and on can damage the hair follicle ultimately resulting in very thin sparse eyelashes. Yeah, you'll end up naked on your eyeballs. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask Melissa, how often do you wear yours? I, every day, I do. Have you noticed that your own lashes, have I you had any loss? No. Um, if you apply them correctly, I think, and if it's onto the skin and not onto the lash, then you should be okay. And you shouldn't really rip them off. Um, I recommend, and people have recommended using makeup remover on exactly. the band, and it'll loosen the glue up, and you could just peel them right off. Exactly. Yeah, mine is just mm -hmm. a little light rubber yeah. stuff. I wear them when you're on TV mm -hmm. or an event or something. Right. It's fun. So, let me ask you about a lot of my friends, my own sister gets these, the mm -hmm. lash extension. Right. I got these one time, and my eyes burned. Mm -hmm. I poured tears. They looked phenomenal. <laughs> But is that glue safe? Well, I mean, it's very strong. A lot of those extensions you get in a salon. Now, what they're supposed to do is do a patch test first to make sure that you're not sensitive to that chemical. Because mm -hmm. some people can be sensitive to that chemical and have the experience you had. But even if the chemical is appropriate for you, we find that the weight of those extensions and the uh, adhesive that they use can put a lot of strain on your natural lashes. Again, causing them to break off, getting that thin, brittle lash look. So in our quest for long, gorgeous eyelashes, we're actually somewhat destroying our own lashes. So again, if you're going to do that, maybe, you know, once in a great while, special occasion right. thing, and make occasion. sure you're patch tested first. Absolutely. Who knew? Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. It's great visiting with you. Uh, up next, a little girl who's opening our eyes to another dangerous trend, childhood obesity. It's a cause near and dear to my heart right after you.